Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to stop hitting pulls with your irons. We're gonna talk about why you hit those pulls, what the root cause is, and the one drill you can do to eliminate them forever. Hey guys, today I wanna to talk to you about the hanger training aid. I don't know if you've seen this or used this before, but it is absolutely my new favorite training aid. This hanger here, creates and controls what I think is the most important part of the swing, which is the wrist angle. It snaps right on. It takes me probably 30 seconds to put on. I could put it right in my golf bag. And best of all, the main trait of a uh, training aid that's really good is you can hit balls with it. You can actually hit balls with it. So I love this hanger training aids. I've been using it probably for the past six to seven weeks in my own game. You may have seen me in videos talk about, hey, I'm really trying to get my left wrist flat at the top. Look at when I do that well, how that sits on my forearm. Now watch when I cut my wrist, how that comes off. Immediate feedback for where my wrist angle is at. I like to use this even during my takeaway. When I set it up here, I like to keep it between my arms during my takeaway, press it against my left wrist for flat left wrist at the top, press it more against. Look at when I press it against it, that shallows my shaft, it keeps my club face square to close, helps me hit from inside. So I absolutely love this. I firmly believe that this is good for every single golfer. No one that can have too flat of a left wrist. One of the few things that all good ball strikers have, we're trying to have flat left wrist, right? Super easy to use, incredible immediate feedback with the coupon code gorgonogolf.com. It's only $59 and I can actually hit balls with it and get instant feedback. Yeah, so I don't know if you can hear that, but that's about as compressed as I can hit a ball. And that's the main point of this hanger, iron compression. You're gonna absolutely love it. We'll put all the details down in the description down below. All right guys, Eric here out at the Bethlehem Golf Club. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to stop hitting pools, in particular with the iron shots. Now, as you guys are watching today's video, if you could, click that gray thumbs up button and the subscribe button really helps us out. We'd really appreciate that. Um, so in terms of the pulls, let's first talk about what the main root cause is of the pulls. And then we're gonna talk about the shoulder drill. And I'm gonna go through that in detail. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a couple quick drills to do for those of you that like the drills, we'll do that at the end. So the pull, and when we're hitting pull, just to confirm, I'm talking about a shot that's gonna be basically straight left of my target. So if I've got a flag out there and I make a full swing, this is a ball that's gonna be just pulled straight left. It's a very common pattern to have with the irons and even the driver for a lot of us. Now the main root cause of a pull has to do with your club path. So from down the line, the direction that I swing the club head is gonna have a huge influence on the direction the ball goes. So the pull comes from the downswing path being too far outside and across. Some people might call that too far over the top, right? Or the path being too far to the left. So out and across. If I pull this stick back, just to kind of give a visual of the ball target line, if my golf ball was on this stick, the players who hit the pulls, the club head actually gets outside of that ball target line wall for whatever reason, right? Which we'll go through. So the pull, so the club path is the piece that we really have to make sure that we fix. Now, why does the club path get over the top and how do we fix it? There's two main reasons. The first one we're gonna talk about is the way the shoulder moves and that's gonna be this turn and tuck drill. And this video we did actually saw from Clay Ballard at Top Speed Golf. He did the same uh, style of video. I just wanna give my little take on it. So credit to Clay, he's got great videos. I just wanna give a little bit of a different way to do the same thing here. And the way the shoulder works, now pay attention to this and watch this here, and specifically my trail shoulder. If you're someone who struggles with a pull, at some point during the swing, your trail shoulder is gonna get too far forward towards the ball target line and or too high. So if you struggle with a pull, the shoulder's gonna be too far forward and too high. The correction for that and how this drill works is to have the opposites, to have the shoulder more back, so away from the ball target line, and lower. Now, this can be true at all points in the swing. It can be true during the setup, the backswing, and the downswing. So, if you've got the pull, let's start with the setup position. If I take my setup and my right shoulder is forward and high, that makes my shoulder line point where? Too far to the left. Now, if my shoulder line points too far to the left, that club head's probably gonna go too far to the left. 
So that would be part number one. At the setup position, get the trail shoulder back, pull it back, and lower it. Right? So from the face-on angle, the player who hits the pull, when the shoulder's forward and high, they have very little spine tilt here. Right? They're pretty much straight up and down. We want to have some tilting, which is the lower part, and close the shoulders, which is the back part. That's going to be part number one. During the backswing, the player who hits the pulls, the shoulder stays too far forward. They never turn it around them enough. I want to have my right shoulder turn all the way back about to my midline. The more I get my right shoulder turned around me, the deeper my hands go, less odds of me going over the top. The player who hits the pull, the shoulder stays where it's at. It doesn't turn around enough, and the hand path gets too vertical. That's going to be part two we'll talk about. Part three, is the downswing, the part we all see, which is the player who hits the pull, their shoulder comes too far out and over this way. And notice when my shoulder comes forward and high, where does the club go? Forward and high, right? Over the top, path to the left. Whereas what we wanna happen is the shoulder needs to feel like it stays back more and goes under. Shoulder stays back and under. So those are the three parts of the shoulder, and that's the part that we're trying to fix. Let's talk through this drill. When you take your setup position, I want you to take your right shoulder, make it go down towards the ground, and pull it back. Down and back. Now, how this is going to work with the three parts is we're going to do a couple with part one, a couple with part two, and a couple with part three. Ultimately, you can do them all, or just do the only pieces you need to to be able to hit the shots, meaning if it's as simple as just doing the one setup piece, then we'll do just that. So part one, I want you to hit a couple shots with the right shoulder being down and back. Down and back with the shoulder. So down towards the ground and back behind me. So your shirt buttons will feel like they point a little bit more behind the ball. Down and back. Let's hit one from there. And what you're going to look to see with just the setup position is how does that change your start line? If you're someone who hits the pulls, you want to see the ball starting more online or even slightly to the right of the target. So set a position, right shoulder down and back. Shirt buttons feel like they're back behind the ball a little bit. And there's a ball that starts a little bit to the right and curves a little bit farther back. So if it's as simple as that for you, leave it just at that. Now, quick note on ball position as you're doing this before we talk about part two. The ball position relative to my stance is also gonna play a role in the direction the ball goes. The more forward the ball position is, the more I'm likely to hit those pulls. The more back the ball position is, the less likely I am to hit those pulls. So as you're putting your shoulder down and back, you may wanna have the ball position slightly farther back than normal. I would suggest roughly three golf balls inside your left heel with a eight or seven iron would be a good starting point. So if I measured three balls inside my left heel, that golf ball's about right in line with that. It's probably just forward of my sternum would be a good point. But the point is, just slightly farther back with the ball position could be a big part that helps. So ball about one ball back, right shoulder down and back. Shirt buttons feel like they're behind the ball. You might even feel like your neck is a little bit more tilted. So your eye line's a little bit more to the right, like your right ear's a little lower. These would all be setups that will help get rid of the pull. And all those balls are starting a little bit to the right and curving back. Now, part two of the drill is the backswing. This one's a little bit more straightforward. I want you to have your shoulder down and back to start, and then your shoulder from here, I want to turn all the way around you. So if you drew a line up the middle part of my body, your right shoulder should get at or past that line. What that does, is allows me to make a full backswing turn and get my hands deep enough to be able to approach the ball from inside on the way down. So set up, right shoulder back and down towards the ground and back behind me. Now I'm gonna get my right shoulder all the way back to my midline. Shoulder down and back, right shoulder all the way around. And there again, another piece that's gonna help me get the club path from inside, start the ball a little bit to the right. Now the third part of this drill and how this trail shoulder works is the bottom part during the downswing. You wanna feel your trail shoulder go underneath your chin and feel like it stays back more. If I had a wall here by my left side or if I held this club up here, I wanna feel like my trail shoulder stays back this way so it doesn't come forward. 
And instead of getting high, I want it to stay low. So my trail shoulder should go underneath my chin. I can even feel with my left hand that it stays back and my palm gets towards the target. The more that my shoulder goes out and over, the more over the top I get, the more pulls I get. So the shoulder's gonna feel like it stays back and goes underneath my chin. It's gonna feel like it, probably not a ton of body rotations, what it's gonna feel like to you. And if you're someone who hits pulls, that's fine. You don't need to worry about the body rotation now anyway. We gotta worry about the club path. Shoulders down and back, full backswing turn, keep it back. Shoulder down and back, full backswing turn, keep it back. And there's another one that starts slightly to the right and curves back. At some point, we'll put a thing out there so you guys can see all these beautiful little draws and the ball flights, but picture it with me, starting right and curving back. So the simple thing, if I was gonna 101 this, would be that the shoulder goes down and back, turns all the way back, stays back. Down and back, turns all the way back, stays back. The shoulder's more underneath my chin and back. I'll feel a little bit more tilted compared to shoulders level and out. Let's just do one more. So ball position's neutral or slightly back, shoulder down and back, full turn back, keep it back and under. Full turn back, keep it back. And there's another one that starts to the right and curves back. So that's the point, that's what I would start with, with the shoulder piece to control the club path, to control the start line. Now there's a couple quick hitter drills I wanna show you that can help with this and one other caveat we have to talk about. Okay, so the first drill I would do here uh, if I wanted to fix the path being over would be this swing plane station behind me. I've got the stick on the ground over 12, one, two, three, four o'clock. I've got the club angled to the point where it's just above the shaft during my takeaway. And I wanna to learn to get the shaft over four o'clock into the ball. This is my first one that I would start with. One of my favorites, feeling the same things with my shoulder, learning to get the club from inside. Practice station number two, same purpose. Fix the club path. This time we have it set in front. I move this stick from four o'clock to 10 o'clock, 12, 11, 10. I wanna see the shaft getting over the 10 o'clock marker. I've moved the plane stick in front of me just above or just um, to the left of where the shaft is again when last parallel. So it's forcing me to get the club moving more to the right. Second drill that we really like, same feels with the shoulder. Option number three we really like is the stick right over the golf ball, about three quarters or so of a grip high. Uh, the front end of the stick's over the ball. The goal here is to get the club, again, working from more low and inside, make the path more from inside, less pull, same shoulder feels. Last but not least that we like for the pulls is a start line stick. An alignment rod, pull noodle over would be great. Three to four paces in front, right on line with your target. You wanna get your eye line used to looking up over here, visualizing the ball starting slightly to the right. Look up once or twice before you start. Same shoulder feels really like this one as well. All right guys, so after the drills there, I mentioned one caveat. I just wanna go over this to make sure. Please make sure that your grip and club face angle are square. We said the root cause of a lot of this over the top or the root cause of the pull rather, is a lot of this over the top downswing path. A lot of the downswing path comes from a club face that gets too open. So just do me a favor, make sure your lead hand grip is on the club correctly. The club sits more in your fingers. Let's see if we can see that there. The heel pads on top, the V is at your trail collarbone or shoulder. You can see two to three knuckles. And make sure that the toe is slightly in front of the heel during your backswing. That's a big thing that's gonna help fix the path. All of these pieces we mentioned are the same with the driver. So same with the driver, same with the hybrids, same with the fairway woods, all the same. Um, the shoulder piece, so just to recap, if you're someone who hits pulls, Utilize one of those stations at the end, right? Work with a coach, that's at Cagorno Golf or whatever um, coach you can find. Utilize those shoulder feels, right? Down and back to start, full turn during your backswing, keep it back. 
Understand the ball position plays a role. Neutral or slightly farther back is gonna help you with your pulls. Put a start line stick out there, right, to help visualize uh, the, star, the ball starting slightly right at the target and find one of those drills you like and make sure that your club face is square enough. If not, we have plenty of videos on that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know this will help your pools. If you did enjoy this, we'll put another card on the screen to watch that one. We'll also put for cagornogolf.com. We would love to work with you there.